Well, guys, we have the brazen altar over here. This wonderful place, this was the place of sacrifice, the place of death, but look where it's placed, right in front of the entrance of the gate where all these beautiful colors that we have here, Rabbi Jeff. This brazen altar uniquely was the place that was lifted high. The Israelites would place their sacrifices upon here. The interesting thing about this altar was the place of death, as I mentioned, just blood everywhere. That's why they called it the slaughter place. And interesting how we see it strategically located right there because they had to bring their sacrifice right at the entrance, Rabbi Jeff. And it's interesting, even the construction of it was so neat because it was fire resistant, fireproof, you know, being made of acacia wood and overlaid with the wonderful brass that they put upon there and the horns at the top. But uh, isn't it interesting how the Israelites would have to bring in order to worship God and to come in fellowship, they would have to come to this very piece of furniture, the first one. Yes, and, and we see that right from the very first in the Bible, uh, the sacrifice. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, everything is great. Uh, but then when they chose to disobey God, sin, uh, God said, if you sin, if you eat from that tree, you will die. But God provided a lamb. He provided a sacrificial system. And that's what the whole sanctuary is based on. So the first item we come to, just like in the first part of the Bible, is to be able to get that forgiveness of sins. Uh, as Moses wrote, without, uh, without a sacrifice, there is no forgiveness of sins. That it's, that it's through the blood of the sacrifice that we receive forgiveness. And, and thousands of lambs were sacrificed. Every time a person sinned, they had to bring their own sacrifice. Plus morning and evening, the, the, the Kohanim would offer sacrifices just for the unknown sins, just a blanket covering of forgiveness, atonement that's out there. And so as we brought our lamb sacrifice, we would be the one that would have to kill it. That's right. And they would be there, the, the Kohanim would be there and to catch the blood in the basin and pour it out along the altar. And then the, uh, the Kohen would, would put it up on, the Levites would put it up on the altar and burn it there. All of this, it's not that God hates lambs, no. not that God <laughs> hates animals, that he wanted to just kill all these animals, but it's the substitution. Like with Abraham, God told Abraham, go sacrifice his son. Not that God wanted to, Abraham to sacrifice his son per se, but he wanted to make sure that that wasn't Abraham's idol. That God was most important. Nothing else was more, most important. Uh, and so God brings him and, and Abraham's got him up on an altar, ready to sacrifice him right on what becomes the Temple Mount where the temple actually gets exactly. built. God stops him and says, no, Abraham, I know that you put me first now. I know that you love me. I know, and so Abraham looks up and he sees the ram caught in uh, the thick. thick with his horns, and then he offers him as the sacrifice, this substitution. That's, right. and that's what these lambs represented, the substitution. And it all pointed to the Messiah that would come for us, that God would send. And that's what Abraham said to his son. As they're going on this three-day journey, Abraham says, we got the fire, we got the wood, we got a knife, where's the sacrifice? It took him three days to figure that out. <laughs> where's the sacrifice? And Abraham said, God will provide himself sure did. the sacrifice. And that's the Messiah. The Messiah came as the sacrifice so that we can receive forgiveness, that our punishment was placed upon him. Absolutely. We weren't not to approach with the Ten Commandments, but only through the sacrifices that were administered. That's right. That's the first part. That's, that's right. The first place you enter in there. You couldn't be pardoned from your sins and blessed by the priest until you came to the altar of sacrifice with the sacrifice. And boy, you could, you could see so much of that there were shadows of things to come. And that's why this is a wonderful temporary visible picture to show us how we're to approach God. God said there was one way, but the first way we come through is through the brazen altar, the altar burnt offering. That's why they called it the altar, the door, the tabernacle. And again, going to substitutionary sacrifice, we could see how these were all pictures of wonderful, glorious, perfect lamb that one day would be shed. Yes, that's right.